Your favorite YouTube channels could charge you for content in the very near future. Back in May, YouTube launched 60 paid subscription channels. They offered everything from the entire Inspector Gadget series to girls in bikinis running a barber shop. But just as quickly as they launched, the paid channels faded into obscurity with only one, Sesame Street, having any real positive results to come from the experiment. Well now, YouTube has decided to open up the paid subscription service to any channel that has at least 10,000 subscribers. This means that gigantic YouTubers whose entire livelihood is based on ad revenue generated from their channel can now open up a second revenue stream that doesn't deal with up and down ad money. The move does beg the question, will putting the power of paid subscriptions into the hands of the content creators who know how to drive millions of views to their channels destroy the free nature of YouTube content? Or will paid YouTube channels fade into obscurity over time? I mean, after all, the underwhelming initial launch could have been due to its limited scope of content, and by tapping into creators and channels who understand the space, we could potentially see a new revolution in paid entertainment. Or people will continue to ignore it and no one will watch it. We'll find out in a few months. And speaking of YouTube changes, they've opened up live streaming to any channel with at least 100 subscribers. It was only three months ago when YouTube set the live streaming cap to channels with 1,000 subs. This feature, along with the ability to add custom thumbnail images to videos, link out to other sites and video annotations, and embed playlists should begin rolling out in the next few weeks. Finally, YouTube made a little change which, at least in my world, makes all the difference. Now, if you're anything like me, you've probably got about seven to 10 tabs open on your browser at any given given time. And sometimes you'll click away from a YouTube tab that suddenly starts blaring music or an ad. Well, now they've added a little play icon to let you easily track down where all the noise is coming from in your browser. It's pretty cool, right? It's pretty helpful, huh? You guys think YouTube is on the right track by allowing people with smaller followings opportunities to make similar content as the big boys, or do you think smaller channels won't take advantage of the new features? Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And as always, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. We're really close to 100K and I want to give you the prizes that are down there in the show notes. You just got to subscribe to get a crack at them. For TFN, I'm Scott Bromley saying I lied. I usually have about 15 to 20 tabs open at a time. I just have separation anxiety. It's like, oh, I don't want that Gawker article to go away. I don't know where I'll find it. Oh. I, I, I don't know. I'm a multitasker. Multitabber. Doesn't even make sense. Oh, why do you even try anymore? They all hate you in the comments anyway. Look at them. Down there full of hate. Oh, Annie's so much better. Just deliver the news, dum-dum.